Hey guys, this is Shay from SGN. Welcome to another video today, part three um, of the autographs that I got from the Super Bowl experience and Super Bowl week. Well, I've decided that autograph trading cards will be part five and lead into a trading card collab series with Elliot Productions. Um, so make sure to check that out. Uh, those videos will be coming soon to the channel as well. But anyways, part three, eight by 10 pictures that I did not witness getting autographed, but can tell are legitimately autographed, have on good authority, are autographed, and that I got um, to meet the players and got the autographed pictures from. At the Skittle stand and the Snickers stand, we'll actually pull back out our trusty little map for those of you who did not see part one. Got the Skittle stand right here, Snickers right here. At those stands, they had these photo ops. Um, at the photo op, you took your picture with the player, and then for like a half hour before their photo op, there was a stack of pictures. They'd sign a bunch of them in front of the employees of Skittles and of Snickers. Once you took your photo, you got the autographed picture, which is pretty cool. Um, honorable mention that I was disappointed I didn't get the autograph of was Jared Goff. Jared Goff, he arrived late. He hadn't signed anything. Um, I still got my picture with him. That was still cool. Um, we'll jump into things. We've got four pictures here. Got them all in a stack so we can reveal them one after another. And we'll start with Sterling Shepard. New York Giants. Uh, that was at the Skittles photo op. You just took your picture with him. Got the autograph. Boom. He was really nice. He actually said that he was hoping the Vikings would be in the home Super Bowl. So that was really cool. There were a few other players who said it too, but like active NFL players who were cheering for the Vikings once their teams were eliminated. That's crazy. It was really awesome to hear from those guys. Um... Yeah, and by what I mean, you can tell it's a real autograph as I bring it up, trying to not spoil the next one too much. And the lighting's not great here, but like when you get the right lighting, it reflects, and you can tell that autograph ink is a different type of ink from everything else. Um, by which I mean, you know, like the printer ink is a different quality entirely. On to the next autograph, though, which is Mohamed Sanu. Another friendly guy. He was r way bigger, taller, everything than I thought he would be. That is, I guess, the most interesting thing I can say. I met him later in the day, and, you know, I was tired, running line to line. Things were a blur, but very appreciative of that. Next up is Luke Keekley. That was at the Snickers stand. Um. I wasn't super talkative, but pretty friendly. Uh, I mean, it's Luke Keekley. He's a perennial all-pro middle linebacker, probably the best middle linebacker of the his generation. Getting his autograph for free, basically, is awesome. And finally, Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson. Very soft-spoken, but definitely a cool cat. Um, he was the only guy I saw sign an autograph when he wasn't supposed to. Very nice guy. Um, very down-to-earth, humble, I'd say. Um, yeah, and I'd say definitely one of the most exciting autographs I got. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, seeing a little bit more of what I got. If you did, leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe. Make sure you check out Parts 1 and 2. Part 4 coming soon as well with the rest of the 8x10s I got autographed. Um, yeah, but I guess that's about it for this video, guys. MG from SGN. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and as always, peace out.